Hello. Oh, so close. <laughs> Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Rosette, and today we're going to be talking about my current skincare routine. So these are all the products that I'm currently using in my skincare routine. Um, I personally have oily sensitive combination skin so a lot of these products are catered towards my specific skin type but i think they can pretty much benefit all different skin types so i'm going to talk through the entire process that i do for my skincare um, and how i apply the different products on my skin and yeah if you haven't already please do subscribe to my channel um, I would love love to have you back and please give this video a like that really helps me out a lot if you want to see more videos like this and be sure to comment below um, and yeah let's just get into the video so I started off using the Sabaki cleansing oil gel by Bosha um, I personally like using more gel type cleansers I find they really cleanse my skin the best but this one, um, I really like it. It's the it's the first step that I do to really clean my skin. I'm not going to demonstrate that. I already did that off camera. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, it's a thick gel, but it's clear. It's not pink as the bottle um, kind of looks. I know that can be kind of misleading, but the scent is pretty non-existent. It's inoffensive. It's gentle on my skin. It really cleanses my pores, really gets the dirt and grime off my skin, which I really, really value. Um, I love all of Bosch's cleansers. A lot of them are gel cleansers, and I thought I would try this Subaki line, which is the oil gel cleanser, and it works really great for my skin. My skin feels very clean um, and just fresh. Um, and yeah, I really, I really like this, and I will continue enjoying it. So my next step is my toner, and I totally forgot that I need a pad. <sighs> Back in a jiffy. Mm -hmm. Have you balancing on a chair right now? That's my life. So my next product that I use, I got this from the Pe Peach and Lily website. They're, they feature a lot of Korean band brands. Their Korean based skincare and makeup. This toner helps to balance the pH levels in your skin um, and it also helps with gently exfoliating and unclogging your pores. And if you have oily skin type, you have bigger pores on your skin, especially around your kind of cheek area. So, how I like to use this, I don't shake it or anything, I kind of just put it onto a little cotton swab and I just swipe it on my face, honestly like that I'm looking in the side viewfinder to make sure I'm in focus but yeah I just go all over my skin and it's really gentle um, it doesn't burn my skin at all I've had a toner that burned my skin and that's why I have sensitive skin I can't really use like super chemically products because my skin just reacts horribly and I break out into hives and my skin gets really red and it kind of like feels like my skin is on fire and I don't like that feeling so yeah this clean AHA BHA toner is just really really great at gently exfoliating my skin I really like it after this step I would typically use an essence I don't currently have an essence right now I just ordered um, one off of Peach and Lily um, because I forgot to order an essence and I kind of just went without it but essence are really good to kind of hydrate really deeply hydrate your skin and it allows the products that you use after the essence to really seep into your skin really well I've used the one by SK2 and that one is really really great and I love it but it is expensive so I went on Peach and Lily and I ordered an essence that they have it's called raw sauce and it's by Amazon um, and it's really great and this um, toner is also by Amazon and I really like it I've been using it obviously you can tell I've used a lot of it and yeah it's very calming on my skin and removes all the dead skin cells which is great and I've noticed a huge difference in my skin the texture of my skin is just 
even. It feels nice, smooth, and soft. And it definitely does feel clean. I, I feel a little bit of a tingly sensation, but it's not painful. It's kind of like a tickly, tingly um, sensation on my skin. Um, and that's how I just kind of know I feel it working. So I really, really highly recommend that. And it's pretty affordable, so I really like that as well. So next, I go in with my serums. The serums that, oops, the serums that I'm currently using are the Collagen 100 Serum and the Hyaluronic Acid 100 Serum. Serums typically help really go beyond the first layer of your skin. So they're kind of like moisturizers, but they just penetrate deeper into your skin, providing the actual benefits that you need. So the Hyaluronic Acid one, I like this one. It's more of a thicker consistency. I really like this one and it doesn't have a scent. It's you know very inoff inoffensive. A lot of these don't really have a scent to them. But the hyaluronic acid is just really going to add a lot of hydration, deep hydration into your skin. Um, and then the collagen one, which is the one I'm going to start with, is going to help with firmness and elasticity of your skin. So I highly recommend both of these serums. I really, really like them. So I'm going to start with my lighter serum. They say it's best to start with your lighter serums and then work your way up to a heavier one. So I kind of just put it into my palm like this put like a dime size amount. I'm about to like be done with it. I don't have that much left. But I kind of just, I like to press product into my skin. I notice more of a difference when I actually press the product into my skin. And it just, it feels light and it soaks in pretty quickly. go everywhere all over my skin and then I just swipe up on my neck because I also want my neck to look good I don't want wrinkles and have like sagging neck <laughs> when I get older I want nice skin and you can kind of see it kind of just giving me that nice glow because it's a serum but it really is starting to just really sink into my skin quite quickly and I like to kind of let these really just take their time seeking in. I don't rush in with the next product, but also you can see it has like a little pipette, which is great, but because until the end, I just pour it out of my hand. This next one, um, I have more of, because I have continued to repurchase this so much. This was like my first time using the collagen one, and I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing this one really really like it notice that my skin is firmer it's plumper um, this one I just noticed my skin doesn't because I have oily skin I feel like a lot of people think when you have oily skin that you know your skin is hydrated is moisturized it's actually not because the reason why your skin is producing a lot of oils is because it's actually dehydrated and it needs that moisture so your skin is overcompensating by producing oils so if you do have oily skin don't be afraid of using oil-based products your skin still needs hydration and moisturization so I really like this and I kind of just do a drop on my forehead and on either side of my cheeks and it's just one full pipette drop. And I just, as I said, I pat all over my skin. And I have a pretty big face, so one pipette drop works for me just fine. I would say if you have a smaller face, maybe use half. And then I use whatever is left on my hand and I swipe it up on my neck. And this one is a thicker cream kind of a, like a milkier thicker cream but I really really enjoy it and I'm just gonna like let that sink in but you can already see like my skin is looking more hydrated more nourished and moisturized it's starting to get that nice healthy glow so I'm just gonna kind of fan that so it kind of soaks in but it's soaking in just nicely the next product I use is the Biosan squalene and peptide eye gel um, this really helps to reduce puffiness and dark circles and I prefer using a gel cream or a gel in general around my eye area. I remember I used the Kiehl's Avocado Cream um, eye cream and it just put so much built up around my eye that I started getting these white spots 
and I was like, I don't, I don't like that. And it definitely did help with the hydration, but I noticed that my darker, my under eye circles just got darker using that cream. And it's a great product, but when it's a cream, it just didn't work for me because it was just too heavy and I needed something that was more a light consistency, but also can deeply hydrate my under eyes because I just, I personally need that. So I use the Biosense one and it just really helps me in the morning and I just use a full pump and it's just as you can see it's just kind of like a creamy gel like consistency but it's more gel than anything and I kind of just rub that and notice I'm using it on my ring fingers the reason why I use my ring fingers is because they provide the perfect amount of pressure around your eye area and you want to do it around the, your occipital bone here I go on my eyelid and all the way around. I haven't had an issue going on my eyelids, but I would recommend just stick with under your eye. But typically you wanna just stick with keeping it under your eye. And then I just go around my eye. And I just kind of, again, press it into my skin. And then if I swipe, I kind of swipe up. Not inward, I swipe away. Yeah, and then you can kind of massage your eye by going in small circles, kind of help with the puffiness. But as you can see, everything's kind of, ooh, I don't know what that is. What is that? Just like a little white speck thing. It really just sinks into my skin really great. And then I, we're almost done. So I got this Subaki Swirl. It's a two-part gel and cream, high, uh, cream deep hydration moisturizer. I like this, but I find that because it's layered, so you have the gel and then you have the cream and then you have the gel, I find that when I pick up more of the gel, it really sinks into my skin, whereas if I pick up a little bit more of the cream, it doesn't sink into my skin. Um, Fresh, which is another brand, they have cream gels, moisturizers, and I really like those when they're kind of mixed together. But when they're separated like this, it's just not so great for my skin. It works, it makes my skin still feel very soft, nice and light, and I do get that moisture. But I just notice that I get more hydration in my skin when I use a gel-like cream more than a cream, like a heavy cream, and then gel kind of sitting on top of each other. So I feel like it kind of sits on my face a little bit, but it's still great and it's pretty affordable and it's a clean product, meaning they use clean ingredients. So I really like it. So I kind of just rub it in between my hands and again, I press. I notice better results when I press the product into my skin. And then if I swipe, I swipe up. I don't want to create more fine lines and wrinkles. I want that lifted look. I want to look awake, nice and hydrated. And I put quite a bit of this on. I, I really like to lather my skincare on, which is why I really like gel consistency because it just it works really great for my skin type but also like I can put a lot on and not get that build up, which I really like. So, and then I'm gonna finish off with sunscreen. This is the bomb.com, I'm not even gonna lie. It's the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergroup. I obviously am a dark skin girl, as you can tell. Um, and when I use white sunscreen and I'm not just saying that to be racist I'm saying that as in like when the sunscreen is white like physically white it gives me a purple and blue tint and I'm not trying to look like a blueberry I'm not trying to look like an Oompa Loompa I'm trying to look like I have my normal skin so when I heard about this I had to try it it's a clean cruelty free vegan product um, non irritating allergy tested scentless it's it's amazing. It's a gel, but it's like a yellowy clear gel. 
so I really like it. You can use it as a primer under your makeup and it holds to your makeup just as well. But I use this every single day because sun the sun is what ages you. The sun causes fine lines and wrinkles and I am personally just not about that. So I, I put like a dime size amount and I just spread it on my face. So I'm gonna put this and as you can see, it's kind of like a clear consistency, but it has like a yellowy tint in there and it is scentless. Um, I really, really like this. I can just rub it into my fingers and I'm more porous around my cheek near my nose area. So I kind of just press it in there. I will say it kind of does have a scent but it's not like super intense, you know? There's no like tint on my skin, it's virtually clear. Mm -hmm. So I really like, I don't even know what I just said. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, whatever. But anyways, it's really nice, I really like it. Um, that's virtually my skincare. I like to end um, with also doing a facial spray. I do a rose, this is by Mario Podesco and it's their rose water spray. I do have the lavender one. I will say the lavender one, the scent is just intense. It's too intense for me, so I don't like it for the scent reason, but it hydrates my skin. It just adds that extra moisturizer. It's a fine mist. So it's really great. This is like $7. I have a small one that's, you know, travel size. Um, that's mini that I think is $5 and they have a bigger one um, that's like, I think 12 ounces. That is, or is it like 10 or something like that? And it's $12. So I really like this. Um, as you can see, it's pretty fine. And the smell is very light. It's very light rose and it has aloe and herbs in it along with rose water mm -hmm. so really great you can use this as a toner if you wanted to and it's a cheap alternative but it works really great and I've gotten my friends onto it and they love it and they really like it so yeah that is essentially my current skincare routine if you liked any part of this video please do give this video a thumbs up that really helps me out a lot so i know if you guys want me to continue doing videos like this um but yeah that's my current skincare routine and that is what is that is what i use on the daily i would say it's essential to use to have sunscreen in your routine because the sun is what ages you. This one is water and sweat resistant, which I really like, because I am a sweaty girl. <sighs> so dear fat. But yeah, that's my skincare routine, my current skincare routine, and I have a blog post to kind of go with this, so I'll make sure to link that down below. Um, so please do check that out, and it's gonna have all these products linked on my blog. Um, so you can see exactly where to get them and where I buy them. A lot of this is from Peach and Lily's website and I get some of these off of Sephora and Ulta as well. So yeah, don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I am starving. Oh, I got two likes.